My name is Greg Anderson. I am the owner of Mother Rhythm Drums. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate how to tune a djembe. Um, before you can tune a drum using the molly weave, you should really try to pull all the slack out of the rope runners first. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I have a crude little stand here in which it secures the drum once I set it on here. And I have a crude piece of galvanized pipe with some welded metal on that I use for the purpose of pulling the rope down to create more tension on the head to bring the pitch up. Now this drum, obviously, is a little flat and needs to be tuned. Therefore, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this handle This knot holds some importance. This knot right here is an extension of this rope that comes up over and down. It's basically like a hangman's noose, so that when the rope goes up and down and all the way around the drum and back up, you can bring it through the hangman's noose and pull it down tight, and that noose will tighten down around that rope, preventing it from backing out. Now I need to know where this knot is, where the rope's running through the knot to know where to begin starting to tighten down the laterals with my pry bar. Because the rope comes down through here and up and out through the knot, that means I gotta start tightening this side and go all the way around and then pull it back tight to pull the slack out. And that's what I'm gonna start doing. Now before I can get started, I need to protect the neck of the drum and I have a sock here with a piece of duct tape in which I wrap around the neck, provide a little extra padding so that when I start wrenching down on this, pulling the rope, I'm not going to dent the wood in the drum. So what I'm going to do, the first rope I'm going to pull is this one to the right side of this loop. I move to the next one. And the next. So you can get a better angle on it. You don't want to pull too tight because you could rupture the skin, so you just generally have to use a feel. You get a feel for it.
at this point I've made it all the way around the drum. Now what did I pull out of there? Maybe, you know, eight inches of slack. So now I'm going to wrap my arm around, and my hand around this rope, and I'm going to pull down to pull that slack through that hangman's knot. Now, as you can see, it's brought the pitch way up. From here, you can go into a molly weave if you need to, but at this point, the drum sounds pretty good, so I don't believe it really needs to go into an additional weave tuning system. So, that's how you tune a drum using a pry bar.